Hello everybody, in this lesson, I'm gonna show you how to connect your local Git repository to your online Git remote repository. So we've been working for the past several lessons. We've created a repository, and now we wanna connect this to GitHub so that we can remotely store and have all of our commits on GitHub, not just on our local machine. So in here, we created our GitHub, but now what we need to do is we need to come in here and create a repository. So we're gonna select a new repository. I'm gonna call this the Git series repo. And I'm gonna create uh, this as a public repository so anybody can go and take a look at this. And we're not gonna change anything else. Just keep it super duper simple. Let's go ahead and create this repository. And it's gonna be completely blank. Nothing is in here, there's no files, there's nothing. And what's great is that GitHub knows they are very good they know that you want to connect this to your Git repository. And so they give us instructions on how to do that. So if you want to create a new repository on the command line, you can, or push an existing one. Now that's what we want to do. So we can copy, well, I'm going to copy this. We're going to add a remote origin and origin is just the name, but let's look at this in a second. Let's come over here. I'm going to do shift insert. So get remote add, we're adding a remote repository and we're calling it origin. That's kind of like a default name. We don't have to call it that, um, but it's just common for people to do that. And then here is the link to this repo remote repository and that's it. Let's go ahead and hit enter. And so now we have connected this local get repository to this remote repository in GitHub. So now what we're going to do is come over here and we're going to click on publish branch. This is going to allow us to sign in with GitHub. So we're going to sign in with your browser. Then we're going to authorize the Git ecosystem. So we're going to say authorize. Now we're going to come back here and we're going to bring up our VS code again. And it looks like we've already put it into that GitHub repo. And you can see it right here. You can see that you can open it on GitHub but it also has this uh, little emblem that says that origin main is now in GitHub. So let's go back to our GitHub. Let's click refresh. And now we can see all of our files in here. So now we've connected our local Git repository to our GitHub remote repository, and now they are synced up. In the next lesson, we're gonna dive into using GitHub, and then we'll talk about how to use GitHub and Git together. I hope that this video is helpful. If it was, be sure to like and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next lesson.